Hi, my name is Ari Bechtel and I'm a junior physics major at Duke University. In a continuation of Yernbach's 2018 Saucy study, my project focuses on the detectability of standing accretion shock instability, or Saucy, in the upcoming Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment Detector, or DUNE. Many two-dimensional and three-dimensional simulations of core collapse supernova predict a sloshing of a stalled shock front just before an explosion of matter, a phenomenon called Saucy. Because Saucy causes a time-dependent change in neutrino number flux and neutrino energy, we may be able to detect it with neutrino detectors on Earth. Saucy could play an important role in the reignition of the shock wave and expulsion of the star's outer shell, a poorly understood process. Understanding our current prospects of measuring Saucy can help us improve our detection abilities in anticipation of a core collapse event. The DUNE detector is an upcoming 40 kiloton liquid argon neutrino detector in South Dakota. The goals of this study are to find data analysis techniques that can improve our chances of detecting Saucy and DUNE, as well as examine how supernova event conditions would impact detection prospects. A simulated supernova model with Saucy activity was input into SnowGlobe software to estimate the event rate that will be detected in DUNE. From this rate, we created a smooth reference model that didn't contain Saucy. In a modified method of a previous Saucy study by Lin et al., we then fit two templates to many shot noised event rates of the Saucy and no Saucy models, with each template representing the each hypothesis. One hypothesis being that Saucy oscillations are present, and the other being that they aren't. The two parameter template is a sinusoid injected over the smooth trend of the rate, and the null template was simply the smooth trend. These were fit by maximizing the likelihood in the frequency domain. A, quote, saucy meter was then created as the ratio of the maximized likelihoods of each template. For each rate, the saucy meter was maximized with respect to saucy start time, with a given fixed duration of saucy activity of 55 milliseconds. Higher saucy meter values are therefore more indicative of saucy oscillations, and lower values are less indicative. We then examined the distribution of saucy meter values for each model at different distances. The blue distributions in figure 3 represent the probability distribution of saucy meter values given that saucy activity is present in a given shot noise rate. The red distributions conversely represent the distribution given no saucy oscillations are present. As you can see, the two distributions are distinguishable within about 3 kiloparsecs and less so at 4 or more kiloparsecs. In figure 5, we also see how the precision in estimating the frequency and relative amplitude of oscillation decreases with increased distances. We conclude that a log likelihood ratio in the frequency domain indicates promising results for detecting Saucy and Dune within 3 kiloparsec distances. However, so far we found that setting threshold Saucy meter values with one supernova model gives mixed identification rates in other supernova models. In the future, this method needs to be applied to more supernova models in order to analyze threshold detection values. Additionally, we are continuing to look into approving this saucy detection test by incorporating neutrino energy oscillations. I would like to thank NSF and the Duke University Department of Physics for supporting this research, as well as Dr. Kate Schulberg for mentoring this work. Thank you.